I'm just going to let him dry. It's just inside the house, like away from the sun. So I have my setup for the turkey tail preparation, which is a little blender, which is dedicated just to botanicals, some empty jars, um, alcohol. This is the one I could find at the alcohol store is 40%. But that's okay, because if the alcohol content is higher, it could denaturate the active com components. Oh, it looks like it's overflowing. Okay, I have to use my bullet. I'm trying to grind the best I can the turkey tail. So I have the ground almost pulverized. This is how to open turkey tail, and I consider myself satisfied. This is very hard to grind actually, and I made a mess. And all you need to do is put this in a jar. And scrape everything you can. So it's about that much. And then top it up with alcohol. Top it up with alcohol so the alcohol is higher than the turkey tail in the jar and then put the cup on and put the label on with a date um, that you put it in the alcohol if you want the pickup date also and make sure it's sealed well because occasionally you have to give it a good uh, shake and then uh, put it in a dark place and forget about it for at least four six weeks so that is the alcohol extraction so i have the macerated turkey tail it's been more than two months now it's time to strain it. So I have some cheesecloth prepared. I have a dark glass bottle which I'm reusing from a previous tincture. It's all cleaned and dried inside. And I'm just transferring. It will be useful if I had the funnel. But I don't have a funnel. So I have to use the precision of my hands. There you go. This is a 250 ml bottle of turkey tail Tramestis versicolor extract in alcohol. So this is all done. And I just dump it in there. 
Okay, you can dump everything the best you can. And what you need to do is put the boiling water on top of it. Okay, and then put a lid on, plug it in, and um, forget about it. So here I am the next day to finalize my dual extract. So my decoction has been on in the little crock pot for about six hours. Um, and... Uh, for one extra hour without the lid because I want it uh, really concentrated. Uh, now it's cool and ready to strain and I have uh, measures, two measures and a cheesecloth for straining. Okay. I'm just going to pour everything in there. to bring a spatch. And then really squeeze the cheesecloth so I can get up all the liquid. Um, 100 mils of the decoction. And 100 ml of the alcohol extract. So if I started with a 40% alcohol and um, I'm adding a half and half uh, water extract, I end up with um, something in the range of probably anything to 15 to 18 percent alcohol and so next I'm pouring everything into a dark glass bottle and I have prepared the labels So make sure you put the date of your dual extract and uh, even though this is 15 to 18 percent alcohol it's best to keep it refrigerated there you go and this is the leftover um, alcohol tincture make sure you label this one as well and I like to label the date of starting the alcohol extraction to the date of this one doesn't need to be uh, refrigerated but it's better to keep it in a cool dark place and the rest of it I have uh, left over you can just drink it <laughs>